this is an incredible and important video. I just left Randy Ray's office and we were talking. So those are the three players that are retired in Weber State history, which there should be few of them. Damian Lillard, of course. The great Bruce Collins. And the great, great Willie Soldier. Ruben Nemhart's number should be there, but I am going to throw a fit and go crazy and cycle on this campus until they put Watt's number up there. The greatest player who ever played at Weber State. Now, I always go off the greatest player who ever played on this floor is why he was playing here was the great Ruben Nemhart. You know, but Damien second, Lillard on this floor, this particular floor. Let me dig this out. I've got Lillard's best game he ever played. God, you should have dug out that first, Kev. There it is. That was a bracket buster game. And a lot of these young players asked how they fight Damon. That's how they found him. That was the game. It was a bracket buster game here on this floor. I had a central line hanging out of my juggler that was full cancer. I was sitting right there. Damon went crazy. Which he, that year, they beat Utah by 30. They were destroying people. How come they didn't get a berth? Just because they lost the championship game to Montana. Why didn't two teams get a berth? Because that's the ripoff of the NCAA. Now, so this is important. Arnie Farron was the head of the NCAA committee. Now, this is this is historic stuff. And until Watts, Watt died. Now, this is real important because I used to sit with him right here. Now, my dad was a famous guy around organic farmer, so a lot of the his best friends were Japanese because they were farmers like my dad. And so a lot of Watts' friends and family still to this day sit in this arena. So let's walk out here, and I want to talk about his incredible legacy. He's born in, and I'll do another one down there at the gym on 25th Street, where I, Randy didn't know a lot about him. I just, I told, how could he? Nobody does it around here. Randy's not here, I mean, you know, Randy's our guy. We like him. And so, this is important. So, of course, that's the man, Damien. So, I had a central line hanging on me when Lillard played that game, but let's talk about what. So, born and raised on 25th Street, his dad's barber. I restored the building that he was born and raised in. I restored it. I did the plaster work on it. I'll do a video and show you where he lived. So, the gym was on 25th Street. That gym's still there. God, these, that, what a photo. The great Phil Johnson. Of course, Dick Mata. There's Bruce Collins. You know, where's Willie? Oh, the great Harold Arsenal. The great Ronna Baglin. You know. So, the great Neil McCarthy. So, I'm going to throw a fit until his number goes up there. So, by the way, Kathy Miller, who I grew up with, friends with, she's still. <laughs> That's the only female, I think, basketball player in the state of Utah. She put up 50 one night in here. I grew up with her. Oh my God, what a player. Let's see if they got Watts. Better have it. Matos. There's Dick Mata, the great Willie Sojourner, Stevenson, Stan Watts. Oh, there's another one. But Floyd Morris lived by me. What a football player. Come on, where's what? This just shows you. I mean, it's disgusting. So let's talk about Mike Solovich, Gene Vischer, Ari Gerber, he was here when I was here. Sessions Harlan, oh, Eddie Gill, Harold Arsenal, let's keep going. Come on, where's what? The best player, there he is, there he is, there he is. So there he is. Let's talk about why. So Weber State won two national championships with him. He played at Ogden High, I believe on the same team as Arnie Farron. Now Arnie Farron was head of the selection committee. Weber State had a home game on this floor at, uh, in 1980, one and two-ish, when they had Bruce Collins on the floor and you know, Neil McCarthy, six seed, 14 point favorites. But uh, it's a new assistant, he's great. So, they got beat on this floor. By who? A guy named Billy Tubbs. Huge upset. So, what? 
Now let's talk about how many championships Watt has. Dave Johnson. God, what a player he is. Let's talk about him. So the hardcore discrimination that was going to Utah. Now remember my uncle is the famous, I mean Harold Blanche is my uncle. Omaha Beach, D-Day, real famous guy in this town. You know, one of the most famous decorated men in World War II, Battle of the Balls, D-Day, blah, 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 blah. And you know how people thought about Japanese, especially after Pearl Harbor. Think about him, he was playing here post Pearl Harbor. Post, now I want you to think about that. I mean, you don't even know, internment camps, down the stretch they come, Corin Nakatani talks about this, they put his parents at Santa Anita Racetrack, then he becomes the great race, you know, the internment. Think about what he lived through. He won, they won the state championship at Ogden High, multiple years. He won the state championship twice at Weber State. Then he goes to the University of Utah and they win the AAU, the NIT, and the NCAA. I think in the same year. He won multiple championships there. He is the first poor player of color in the history of the NBA and the BBA, ever. He died yesterday here. I knew him really good. I should have done more work. I'm gonna do a piece later today at his house. Nolan Archibald, who's a really a great guy, who needs to take over our school business straight out. Ogden High, he's local, Ogden High. You know, Joe, I know Joe good, he's great. So, I can go on and on and on about it. I've been here. There's another great, but this is the greatest player in the history of this school. Now, my high school coach was Dick Conley. Now, you know in 59 they won it again. They were JC, the JC National Championship. Dick Conley was the point guard. I think uh, Hall was the great player on that team. Where's he? he his, you know, we gotta get him. What a player. His number should be up there on the wall, too. And uh, Hall's 59 championship team. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh God, there's my wrestling coach who kicked me off. The worst, uh, that guy. Take him off. He's come off. I hate that guy. What he did to me, you don't even want to know what he did to me. Of course, there's Matt, you know, our mayor. Yeah, he and I talked to get. Don't even get me going. Of course, the great Chick Hesler, this great track team. You know, Javier, you know, this legendary track team. Come on, where is, yeah, Jeremy Boy, yeah, what a player. By the way, the greatest football player up there, they only have one guy retired in the football stadium. What, Jamie Martin? <laughs> the best. How about Lee White? Where's Lee White? I just showed you the greatest football player who ever played in Free Weber State, Wallace Floyd Morris. That's the great NFL superstar. Great Brady Small. <laughs> I mean, how about Scott Shields? Here it is, the 1959 men's championship team. Where's he? How come his number's not on the wall there? Huh? So I'm gonna throw a fit. I want a statue of Fama K. Brody in front of the history department or the English department or the library. Well, really, in front of all three. She's the greatest alumni in the history of the school. The greatest alumni. So think about the two greatest alumni. Well, maybe three. Kevin Blanche is on his way to being the third. That's number two greatest alumni in the history of this school. Nobody even knows him. Who's number one? Fama McKay Brody. Born and raised. They're both locals. Weber High girl, Ogden High boy. There's a movie about him. I'll, I'll do another piece down there. I'm going to freak out. You know, I'm going to throw a fit in this place until we see a banner. There better be a banner this year. Let's zoom in on this. All three of those are rightfully so. By the way, we just talked, and I said, the only person ever nice to me when I was full of cancer, when Damien was here, the only people on this can and I've done all this historic work, Fukushima here. This is the house the nuclear industry built. But I did all this famous work with a central line hanging out of me while Damien was doing his work here. Randy Ray and his players, and Damien was the only one who was ever nice to me. You know, what can we do for you, Kev? You know, in the legendary nursing school, I take it back. The Weaver State Nursing School saved my life. We just had a conversation, me and a girl on the bus coming over here. Yeah. Respiratory therapist. Oh, so, where's your can? You gotta get your soup can. God, keep it going. All roads lead to Ogden. Randy didn't know much about him. He said, you're kidding, he was the, I says, he was the first player of color ever in the history of the BBA and the NBA. 
he didn't know. He knows now. Well, Randy didn't grow up here. You know, he knows now because of me. Why the can? Because that's who built this, the G family. American can. Hello. Hello. You all work there, you know? Lillard for three. So until we, I want a banner, big one, big one. I'm gonna throw a fit until we see it. He's the greatest, so my dad and him were buddies. He was awesome. You know, think about the repression. Think about that. So Fama K. Brody, female professor here. Yeah. 17 year old female professor. She's the greatest female writer in history. Think about the repression to her. Think about the repression to her. Think about what? Plain. Of course, the great Ron Abagland. Oh, he's right next to him. Nice. Think about him. Look at the years he was playing here. And he was Japanese. So the trainer, Yo, here, he's Japanese. Me and him have gotten to be friends. So he knows this story too. So stay in tune. I'm going to throw a fit until we get a banner there. There better be one this year. Back up. You know, I'm, I talk to Randy about this right now. I'm going to talk to everybody on the campus. I know the president of the university now. There's a big change coming. God, what a story his is. There's a movie about him.